So what are we actually talking about? Well, we're going to look at candida a little closer now. And if we look at some of the symptoms, these are some common symptoms that often are associated with candida infections and episodes of vaginal thrush. So if we look at candida more closely, what is candida and what role does it actually play in vaginal thrush? Well, as I mentioned earlier in this presentation, candida is a yeast and it is a natural part of the normal flora of our bodies and it resides mainly in the digestive tract, but it also naturally present in the vagina and the skin. It's just one of those many microorganisms that naturally exist in the human gut. Now, research does show that it is needed for digestive processes and potentially for some really intricate immune function as well. And though it's a normal yeast that's found in the body, the problem actually arises when it starts to overgrow and develops into thrush that affects the membranes of the mouth, the gut, and the vagina and the genitals. Now, because candida is kept in check by the immune system, if an individual is compromised, it will actually take the opportunity and start growing. And this is where different symptoms can actually develop. So why is candida such an issue? Well, because it can cause an extensive range of infections. And these can be either localized infections, say for example, those affecting the mouth or the skin, and they can be superficial um, and, and broader. So they can affect a, a wider area of the skin, for example, or the nails, or they can become even more systematic and they can affect other sites such as the vagina and the digestive systems and, and possibly other areas of the body as well. 